Are you all ready for the ultimate battle royale, dude? 100 lawyers, 50 on each side, one from PUBG, one from Fortnite, battling it out. Oh, man, dude. See, that could almost be an amazing fucking parody movie of battle royale. It could be amazing in of itself. Dude, I'd love to see that as a game mode for fucking Warface battle <laughs> Can't even say that with a straight face. That game is shit. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't know, I've been I've been led some news. I've been asked this question on Twitter a bunch of times. Uh, Player Unknown's Battleground seems to actually be leading a fucking lawsuit. Now, look, I, I'm not one of those Fortnite type motherfuckers myself. I actually don't even play a lot of any of these battle royale games unless I have a sufficient party to play around with. Trust me, I've tried playing these games solo. I just, I just don't find the appeal of playing again, playing with myself with uh, like 99 other people. Okay, if I wanted to do that, I'd go fucking goon on with some motherfuckers, if you know what I mean. But I, I would actually be very, very triggered to know how many people even know that reference. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, PUBG Corp. Blue Hole, uh, Blue Balls Entertainment is actually suing fucking Epic Games for uh, UI implementations, weapon designs, basically copywriting or, or infringing copyrights of of, of, of PUBG. They're, they're suing Epic Games and Fortnite for infringing upon the BR property. Now, uh, there there's no exact fucking science that tells you that, yes, there were Battle Royale games way before PUBG. You know, you had H1 fucking Z1. You had Minecraft Battle Royale. You had the movie Battle Royale. You had the manga Battle Royale. Fuck, you had Cavemen Battle Royale. Don't you remember the prehistoric times? Motherfuckers were fighting over a, a rock. A hundred years ago, a thousand people, one survivor. You get the point. Battle Royale's always been a fucking thing. But in this case, PUBG feels like they've made so many changes to the to the formula so of Battle Royale that, fuck, they own, the, they own it. It's their fucking shit. And to me, it's almost baffling as how they can be so full of themselves that this has become sort of the meme of today. Now... Let me tell you how this thing is going down. Basically, in Korea, Seoul Central District Court, this is an American lawsuit. This is a Korean lawsuit, South Korean to be specific. Uh, Blue uh, Blue Hole has sued Epic Games in South Korea for uh, for, for, for to, to protect our copyright in, in January, I guess to say, is what they've said. Now, that's pretty vague, so to speak. How did, how did they violate it by making a Battle Royale game? In this sense, it could be like Call of Duty suing uh, Battlefield for copying the modern shooter genre not really but i guess in their mind it's almost similar to an extent now in this way what's essentially happened is in an update they basically said that they're claiming ui weapon designs on fortnite copying pubg which is weird because the uis are totally fucking different the the placement of basic elements in the game are totally different mini maps death counters kill counters uh inventory slots fuck the inventory system itself is totally different so i don't know how ui is necessarily being copied if you're gonna go with the argument that oh they copied our health bar you can go fuck yourself sideways because health bars have been in video games since the dawn of fucking time so you might as well you might as well sue the legend of zelda for having a health system in the first place you fucking cunts and second of all the weapons themselves seem a little iffy to me as well what are you suing the, the fact that you have an assault rifle a scar l or something to say or, or, or like an m4 i don't know how to tell you this uh, blue hole but pretty much every shooter game that's set in modern times has an m4 or scar l or fucking rpg7 uh you know there, there was a game called battlefield 3 you should go and sue that hell you know what you should do you should sue metal gear solid 3 i heard they have a fucking handgun in that game dude you have a handgun in your game as well, dude. M1911? Might as well sue off Metal Gear. Might as well sue every shooter game, or shooter game in the genre right there and then. You see what I'm trying to say? It is essentially the weirdest situation I have seen from one uh, from one company to another. It almost feels like PUBG is incredible. Blue Hole themselves are incredibly fucking salty about not only creating one of the most popular phenomenons, or, or the resurgence of a popular phenomenon in the most popular game, because at a time, PUBG was a fucking super popular game. But it almost feels like these motherfuckers are the saltiest sallies over the fact that their game got eclipsed by a free-to-play game 
uh, called Fortnite. And to an extent, I might not be a Fortnite fan or whatever, and I'll play it only if my buddies play it, but I'll say one thing. It's a more popular game. It's taken over Twitch charts. It's the live streaming king. And to an extent, I guess it deserves it. It appeals to a lot of people. It's cartoony. It's It's got it's, it's got decent gameplay. The matches don't take forever. So it's more of a casualized battle royale experience to me in general. And it always keep, seems to keep getting updated. At least that's what I get from the Allie videos. But it does seem to be a game that is in fact better than fucking PUBG. PUBG, a game that runs like dog shit on the Xbox One X while Fortnite just clean sweeps that platform with 60 frames and all that. You can clearly see a lot of a lot more love is put into fucking Fortnite than it is PUBG at the moment. So instead of actually fixing up PUBG, you know, these guys decided, fuck, we might as well sue our biggest competitor. Now there's two ways this sort of thing can go down. In one instance I sort of see in Korea is the favoring towards Blue Hole being a Korean company, I believe myself, and the fact that unlike American legal systems uh, sort of prefer or sort of laissez-faire on the idea of copyright infringement, not really, but when it comes to like the most minute uh, claims that these people are bringing, it usually is a toss-up in this case and situation. And for me to see this, I almost feel like this is definitely going to go in some way towards PUBG's side of, of the legal spectrum, but here comes with a couple caveats. You know that whole saying about hands biting and something about feeding or whatever? Yeah, that saying, well, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the worst thing I think Blue Hole might have ever done. This might be the fucking slap to the dick PUBG is going to be fucking getting uh, and descending further down the hole of obscurity that it might slowly head towards if it makes dumbass decisions like this. See, for those of you uh, who don't know, uh, PUBG runs on Unreal Engine 4, which is owned by Epic Games, the people that they are fucking suing. You're suing the people that make the engine for your game. Now, with Epic Games' Unreal Engine 4, developers can use it to make their own game. There is a license involved, and Epic pretty much hands out those licenses. You gotta sign them if you wanna profit off of your game in Unreal Engine in all, at all. So, the reality of this situation comes like this. If Epic Games is pissed off enough, they could look at that agreement pretty intensely. They can get a bunch of lawyers to sit down, look at the agreement they've made with Blue Hole Entertainment, Blue Hole Studio, whatever you want to call it, and they can they can they can fire a bullet hole through that blue hole, ladies and gentlemen, legally so to speak, and de-license this game sometime in the future. And that and maybe it'll force them to rewrite a new engine or something, and that that that'll take a ton of money, a ton of time, and that'll frankly kill PUBG before it can even stand up again. But I'm pretty sure Epic Games doesn't want to do that. It'll make them look kind of shady in the world. I mean, if it was me, I'd fucking, I, I, to I totally de-license them if I could. Dude, this is America, motherfucker, okay? If you're going to sue me, bitch, you better be ready to pay the consequences. But I think the way that PUBG is going to handle this is more so in the fact that they're never going to want to get rid of Fortnite. In fact, what they're trying to aim to do is at least try to get some financial compensation out of Fortnite, at least in Korea, which is one of the biggest gaming markets in the world, especially for PC gaming. And with the amount of skins and microtransactions being sold on Fortnite on a daily basis, I can actually foresee them making some form of a deal where they get a percentage of sales out of Epic Games in the Korean region. Not all globally. I mean, obviously they can't do it globally. They have to sue them in every region that they're selling in for that to even be a possibility and compared to Korea Epic Games is a lot more clout in other main regions than Blue Hole would like to think that they have and maybe that's the best for Blue Hole to just keep it simply at a uh, you give us money type attitude because getting rid of the biggest gaming phenomenon right now uh, without any form of way to back up your own is just completely is stupid. It's suicide, and it makes them look completely horrible. If you got rid of Fortnite, if for whatever fucking reason that happened, you know how many people would just boycott shit on PUBG at this point more so than they may already do? And it would be totally fucking warranted. You've completely pissed on your fucking fan base, a fan base of another game that is bigger. You've pissed on the battle. You've pissed on gaming in general. And I think in this situation, I don't think PUBG is going to aim to pull off anything as stupid as that. But it is a situation that I see legally kicking off in South Korea uh, as time is going on. And for me, the idea of them constantly doing this, look, 
PUBG, you're a game that I do. I, I do like PlayerUnknown's Battleground. I think it's my favorite fucking battle royale game out there. Um, when I play with my friends, it is a fun time. Coming from a person that plays tactical shooters more, it is a game that is more attuned to me. I can't get into Fortnite because of some RNG shit. I just can't do it. So for me, I'm a, I'm I'm a player of Player Unknown's Battleground. I like it, but I cannot fucking defend this kind of bullshit in any way, shape, or form. This is the stupidest, childish shit that I've ever seen happen in the gaming industry at all. It is the dumbest stuff I've seen kick off. And what's really baffling to me is as somebody who plays Player Unknown's Battleground, these people have taken it upon themselves to sue the competition to fight over the tiniest crumb of cash that they can. Okay, they are the saltiest sallies in the fucking video game development industry instead of taking the time to fix your game because it is a fucking mess on the PC. I might not experience this as much because I have a dope ass computer, but for people who are on a mid range set, they're getting fucked over daily in performance issues by Player Unknown's Battleground. You know those motherfuckers on the Xbox One, Xbox One X? Those guys are like the fucking homeless shelter of Player Unknown's Battleground. They're fucking playing at 15, 20 frames per second, barely reaching a visible resolution. Have you seen PUBG lately on that? After all the patches, I was nice as fuck when that game first came out. Overly nice. And you want to know what they did ever since? Fucking nothing. That game runs like asshole. You might as well download Fortnite over PUBG if you're even going to try to do a battle royale game. The point I'm trying to make here is that these guys do not give a flying fuck about their game. There are other developers, Tencent, who are making a better version of PUBG on a cell phone than these guys have with high-end hardware. So let me know what you guys think about this bullshit in the comment section below. I don't know how to fucking foresee it. I think this is the dumbest thing these companies or this company could do in particular. And Epic Games could take them all the way down to court if they want. I would like my battle royale idea from the beginning to actually take effect. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.